good morning good afternoon and good evening so today i got uh, redmi note 13 in case if you have a xiaomi mobile phone snapdragon chipset mobile phone whatever xiaomi snapdragon chipset mobile you have and if you want to flash the xiaomi eu rom on it official xiaomi eu rom if you don't know how to flash then watch this video because i'm going to show how to flash the xiaomi eu rom the official one on any xiaomi mobile phone which have snapdragon processor let me tell you that xiaomi eu official is not supporting mediatek chipset mobile phone xiaomi eu official only support snapdragon xiaomi mobile phones so what we are waiting for let's start the video then well whatever custom rom you want to flash on your xiaomi mobile phone you need to unlock the bootloader first in case if your mobile phone bootloader is already unlocked then you can follow the further procedure but in case if your mobile phone bootloader is not unlocked then you need to unlock the bootloader first and the important thing is that the bootloader will remain unlocked as far you are using any custom rom any xiaomi.eu rom whatever it is right you can relock the bootloader only when after like after flushing the fast boot official rom stock rom back on the mobile phone then you can relock so this is the official website of the xiaomi.eu link is provided in my video description after clicking the link this website will get open come down here and you will see rom releases click on this rom releases and then you can see that hyper os rom is here miui 14 miui 13 miui 12 miui 11 miui 10 like those who have old mobile phone they can still Go for the xiaomi.eu in case if the mobile phone have the xiaomi eu rom available here in my case i have redmi note 13 so redmi note 13 is having hyper os i will click on this hyper os section now you can see here hyper os 2.0 this 2.0 is having a, a green color which means that the current this is the stable release and the updates are coming so click on this in case if you want to flash the hyper os 2.0 stable release on your mobile phone so other page will get open like read if you want and also the rom with a code name provided here you can read your mobile phone if your mobile phone model is available here you can go for it like for example the redmi note 13 global 4g and redmi note 13 global 4g with nfc code name the without nfc is sapphire this one and the with nfc is sapphire n the xiaomi.eu official rom which is provided here can be flash on the both the variant so you can check your mobile phone in case if the mobile phone of yours available here like xiaomi.eu official rom is available here for your mobile phone you can simply download it right now for the downloading go here you can read that download stable okay click on this link then the web server will get open from where we can download the roms all the roms available here you need to check the code name of your mobile phone you need to download the, the rom file according to the code name do not try to flash any other or wrong rom file on your mobile phone it will not get flash for example in my case i have sapphire or sapphire n the sapphire n can be flashed on both variants so i will go this file because my mobile phone code name start from this sapphire right click the correct file download the correct file this one that i'm going to download after clicking this file or this link the rom will start downloading so here is the folder that i have downloaded already the files so this is the xiaomi eu module file in apk format which can be installed after flashing the rom but unfortunately google always change their policy if i install this module after in installing the rom this module is not working anymore the xiaomi.eu requires to update the module file 
to get the device certified in my case the current that uh, available on the website is actually not working check the date 21st 7 2025 which is right now not working let me tell you something about the rom file now mostly nowadays xiaomi.eu official they are provided hybrid rom like hybrid means we can flash the with the fast boot method and we can flash the rom file with the help of custom recovery although this file is coming with the zip format extension like zip zip file still we can extract it we can flash the fast boot method and fast boot method that is provided with the rom we will use the fast boot method that provided with the rom we will not use the official method like i was getting a message that can we flash this fast boot hybrid rom with the help of the me flash tool no we cannot do that right either if you want to flash it with the custom recovery or you can flash it with a fast boot method now how to check if the rom is hybrid first of all right click on the rom file then you need to install the winrar or 7zip just click on the open with winrar so the winrar application will open and you can see that the files batch files are provided here windows format data b80 windows install and format data b80 which means that this is the hybrid rom we can use the fast boot method to flash the rom on the mobile phone and believe me both method are simple but the hybrid is more simple if you are trying to flash the high xiaomi.eu official rom on your mobile phone and one more thing that after flashing the fast boot xiaomi.eu hybrid rom on your mobile phone automatically the mobile phone will get custom recovery i cannot guarantee that but mostly that i flash the xiaomi.eu rom on any xiaomi mobile phone current that i have also getting a custom recovery for flashing the rom file using a fast boot method extract the rom file that you have downloaded extract it with the help of 7zip or extract it with the help of winrar application right after extracting extracting the rom file open the extracted folder of the rom definitely you will see all the files are available here coming back towards the mobile phone check the mobile phone battery it's supposed to be charged in case if the battery is below 30 percent then to make it charge you need to save all the internal storage data otherwise data will get formatted doesn't matter what rom you have for example i have right now afterlife project it's coming with the android version 14 and uh, before flashing the rom my mobile phone was on hyper os I, I don't remember the exact version of the hyper os but it was on a hyper os well in case if your mobile phone having any custom rom or in case if your mobile phone having any hyper os lower version or higher version doesn't matter right the xiaomi eu official rom of the hyper os 2 point something will get installed anyway must sync your google account then must remove it in case if you are on hyper os in case if you are using xiaomi account remove it otherwise it will get issues turn off the screen lock in case if your mobile phone is uh, having aosp rom then select swipe as a screen lock to turn it off done these things then simply power off the mobile phone mobile phone is supposed to be totally power off right and use a good quality of data cable the other side of the data cable must be connected with computer make sure that your mobile phone bootloader is already unlocked and the bootloader will remain unlocked as far as you are using a custom rom now boot the phone into fast boot mode press and hold the volume down key make sure the phone is power off then connect the cable with the mobile phone in few seconds you will see mobile phone will show fast boot screen release the volume down key now coming back towards the computer screen i am already in my extracted folder of the rom right i will double click this file windows install and format data definitely because i am installing the rom for the first time on my mobile phone double click this file 
the command window will pop up and yes uh, i will press y then i will press enter key so the flashing will get started it will take a time we have to wait here now basically this is the fast boot method that uh, i am going to apply especially we are, if we are flashing a hybrid rom or if we are flashing a xiaomi.eu rom flashing is about to be done and the mobile phone will automatically reboot when flashing done and the command window will get auto close okay it is already done mobile phone got automatically rebooted and it will start booting to the xiaomi.eu hyper os official rom now i can disconnect the cable from the mobile phone and uh, i am done from the computer Well, mobile phone took a long time uh, like uh, waiting on the Mi logo then finally mobile phone started booting to the Xiaomi Hyper OS. This is the first boot it will take a time. So I will complete the setup screen because first boot finally done. Well 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 things done very smoothly I got the ROM on my mobile phone. I will go to settings to show the about or my device. You can see that Xiaomi Hyper OS 2.0.201.0 stable version by Xiaomi.eu. This is the official. My mobile phone variant is 256 GB. After typing the detail and info specs, this is what uh, you can see on my mobile phone. OS version and the Android version is 15.